Hi, and welcome to our video guide highlighting the main pros and cons of Squarespace versus WordPress. As you might already know, WordPress.org is one of the world's most popular solutions for building websites, and this is largely due to its complete flexibility and unlimited customization options. Squarespace, on the other hand, is taking a slightly different approach. The New York-based company is offering a complete all-in-one package that makes it super easy and fast to create your own website in minutes. So let's break down the main differences between the two and see who comes out on top, shall we? Right out of the box, the easiest solution is undoubtedly Squarespace. As you can see, they use a what-you-see-is-what-you-get editor that lets you drag and drop different options, customize sections, and get a clear idea of what your final website will look like. WordPress, however, well, have a look for yourself. Not so user-friendly. The back end is a little bit more abstract, and it will take you at least a few hours to get around all the available options. When you first have a look at the Squarespace website templates, you might immediately think that the results are beautiful. We mean, just look at this. And that one. But be careful, though. Those are designed professionally, and they use really, really good pictures. If you replace the main image with something like, say, this, then, yeah, not so gorgeous anymore. With WordPress, the only limitation is how much time you want to spend finding the right theme and how much cash you want to shell out on it. Sure, it might take a little bit more effort and maybe a bit more investment from your part, but at least you'll have a solid base for your website that can easily be scaled to something much larger. If you're going to sell things on your website, then Squarespace lets you easily do a number of things right off the bat, including inserting a product page, controlling your inventory, adding product variation, and much more. But, and this could be a very big but indeed, you can't get paid via PayPal. You'll have to rely on Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discovery for U.S. merchants only. WordPress, on the other hand, does support PayPal if you want it to. In fact, you can turn your WordPress website into a fully functional online store using a variety of solutions, such as the hugely popular Shopify or BigCommerce. You can even use the free and open source plugin WooCommerce, which will let you access tons of customization options for complete control over your e commerce solution. Here, again, if you use WordPress, you're going to have to do a tiny bit of groundwork. This means finding the right plugin for SEO purposes, but a plugin like Yoast is pretty easy to install and gives you access to tons of options. Having said that, Squarespace is really pretty good too, and all you need to do is fill a few fields to be SEO ready. So, the million dollar question, which one is cheaper? Well, the answer is, it kind of depends. At least with Squarespace, you get a pretty good idea because everything is included in the monthly subscription plan. So, this is how much you'll spend. $8 a month for your personal website. $18 a month for your business website. $26 a month for your online shop. Easy peasy. With WordPress, the service is free, but remember that it doesn't cover hosting costs, template costs, or extra plugin costs. The good news is that if you're doing it on the cheap, you could end up spending as little as $4 on a low-cost web hosting service, park your WordPress website there, and do all the rest without spending anything. So, here's the final word. When choosing between WordPress and Squarespace, the question should not just be what kind of website do I want now, but you should really ask yourself what kind of website will I want in one year? What we mean is that if you have minimal needs, if you just want a simple, good-looking blogging or e-commerce solution that works straight out of the box, then Squarespace is probably the right solution for you. Having said that, keep in mind that Squarespace isn't the only website builder out there. If blogging isn't your main concern, you may find other providers even better suited to your project. However, those of you who have big plans for their websites should definitely go for WordPress. Yes, it will require some time and effort, and maybe some cash too, but the number of options doesn't even compare with the competition. Multilingual support, specific templates, membership areas, searchable databases. These are just a few of the features you won't be able to get with Squarespace. 
Anyway, that's all for us. And don't forget that you can read an in-depth comparison of the two solutions and many more on our website at www.websitetooltester.com.